After a quiet year for New Zealand movies, suddenly two at once, and both created by multi-hyphenates, starring, writing, directing, and in the case of Alice Englert's debut feature Bad Behaviour, helping compose the music too. Could you take a photo for me? Can you take a couple? I know. Not we're in a youth culture and I have currency. I'm scared it's all going to go away. You are enough. Alice plays Dylan, a stunt performer on a cheesy sci-fi film being shot in the middle of central Otago. She has a prickly relationship with Mother Lucy, played with all the stops out by Jennifer Connolly. I had to be told later that Lucy's a former child actor. It certainly doesn't come up in the movie. Right now she's off to something called a semi-silent retreat in deepest Oregon. Mom? I'm just calling because um, I'm going to be on a, a semi-silent retreat in the wilderness, so... Don't contact me, I guess. <sighs> okay. Love you. I now have several questions. Why Oregon? I mean, it looks very similar to Central Otago to me anyway, so why not set it there? And what's a semi-silent retreat? Is it the same as the piano's elective mute? The silence will begin at 6pm following the welcome meeting. Meeting room? Yeah. Bridge, maze, and rooms are beyond. Ooh, any especially good? Room nine. All the same. Thanks. And getting back to why Oregon, there do seem to be an awful lot of Kiwis there, including a Samoan chap, Anna Scottney from Cousins, and the omnipresent Tom Sainsbury. Not to mention a Russian model called Dasha Nekrasova and the retreat's English guru Elon, played by Ben Wishaw. I invite us to be quiet. I encourage you not to smile at each other. No winking, no signing. No, breakfast is finished. Wishaw certainly classes up bad behaviour a bit, but it does beg another question. Are hippie retreats where you try and find yourself still a thing? You know, publicly beating yourself up about your traumas, role-playing yourselves as babies, missing out on breakfast if you happen to sleep in? Let the snogging begin. (laughs) No, 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 I'm joking. Is there anyone who's willing to share a shame? What's stopping you from being enlightened? Are you enlightened right now? Since we have no clue what Lucy actually does these days and what she wants out of this retreat, at least this time everyone keeps their clothes on, all we can do is follow her behaviour, which is pretty awful. She seems to have issues with her late mother, culminating in a violent tantrum when she blames everyone else for, well, everything. You are a toxic nightmare. Don't think, Lucy. Go into the anger. No, surrender! Now, we don't see much of this in the cunningly expert trailer for Bad Behaviour, but stuntwoman Dylan has her own rather vague issues, often linked to her own mother. Presumably, this is to indicate a consistent plot or theme. You know, mothers and daughters, what are you going to do? Never, ever give in to hope. Do you think I'm a bad mother? You're not a bad person. It's just bad behaviour. At the end, mother and daughter leave Oregon and central Otago and end up bonding in, why not, San Francisco, although it looks quite a lot like central Otago to me. Now, I only have one more question. When the considerable amount of New Zealand public money was spent on bad behaviour, stars like Ben Wishaw and Jennifer Connolly don't come cheap after all, did anyone ask who might want to see this? And if not, why not? Does anyone relate to this? may not be all that it seems. No more. Elon, 